morning everyone trying to get uh, started get up and moving around this morning it's like about 9 30 ish this morning still kind of chilly outside um, that's the boat right there since the kids don't have any school today and it's uh, it should warm up some today I think me and um, my wife and the kids are all gonna go out on the boat today my wife's gonna take her car um, her little Highlander right over, you can kind of see it right over there. And then I'm just going to hook my boat up to the truck and stuff like that. And we'll take that out today at some point. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of that, a little bit of that with like the fishing and stuff like that. And then I'll, I'll get to test out my new frog rod and really that reel and to see how all that kind of works together. Um, so yeah, it should be kind of fun today. We're not going to go out um, early this morning. I'm going to get everything kind of ripped off the boat, the tarp and all that stuff. Um, every time I pan this way, like, it, obviously the recording gets kind of, like, dark. Um, so I'm trying to pan back this way. So you guys can see me. But um, the game plan is that I'm going to rip off the tarp, get everything all ready for the boat. We'll probably get some stuff um, put together inside, um, like some peanut butter jelly sandwiches and some waters and stuff like that and put them in the boat. We might stop at the store and get a bag of ice. It's really not that hot out today at all. I think that the highs are supposed to be, like, 65s today, and that's, like, around noon. Um... So right now it's a little chilly out this morning. She doesn't want to go out this, like right this morning. So I probably won't even be able to talk her to get out of the house until like, I'm going to guess closer to 10 or something like that where it warms up. And then she'll probably stay out there till maybe like 12, 1 o'clock. And then she'll, she'll want to come back to the house with the kids more than likely. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to get out there. We're going to play around today. And then... Um, yeah, I'll probably show you some features too with the boat, like the boat buckles and stuff like that, um, where I got to like pick those up from and then how they kind of work and stuff. And um, yeah, we're just going to go around kind of like get things going today. And um, before we get started with anything, though, I got to do a few chores. She's kind of already a little bossy this morning. She's kind of beat me up some, so I got to get in there. I'm a... Um, knock out like the dishes and stuff like that to help her out with the the house she she's not gonna want to leave unless we clean up the house some um but it is what it is so but yeah y'all just stick around and give it a little bit and uh um for y'all it'll just be a second for me it's probably gonna be a couple of hours um but yeah you'll see me i'll show you me hooking up the boat um we'll get everything kind of going from there and then yeah we're gonna head out to the lake the lake we're going to today is deer point lake so it doesn't look like it's too windy out today. So hopefully the water is not choppy. It's not really fun when you get on that lake. Um, so since we're in Panama City and we're close to the water, uh, like the, the beach and stuff like that, a lot of the different little bays and canals that we got are like, for instance, Deer Point Lake has like a dam area. And I'll show you that too when we get out on the lake. It has a dam area that spills off into, um, spills off into the the bay area so it's all salt water on that side but yeah i'll show you all that whenever you get over there so um just stick around and um i'll be back all right so it's a little windy out right now um i think it said like like it's 10 30 right now i think it said it's supposed to get like the wind's supposed to be around 10 ish today 10 miles uh per hour so we'll probably get a little bit of gust here and there i think it's probably gonna be choppy on the lake but we're still gonna go out and play for a little bit um I did right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip off this boat cover. I'll show you guys that. And then, uh, so I'm gonna rip off the boat cover here. I'm gonna rip off the boat cover here. Go ahead and show you guys that. I'll hook up the boat and everything, and then um, I'll show you how all that's done. And then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll go through. I think me and the wife are, are gonna go through, and um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably hit up McDonald's and stuff like that for the kids to get them something really easy to eat, and then we'll get on the water. So, yep, go watch that.
All right, so that's the uh, the boat. It's pretty easy to kind of take off the tarp and to kind of put it all up and to just store it all in my garage. Um, I'm going to switch the cam camera angle from here to a different camera angle so you can see us uh, actually hooking it up and then uh, we're going to get ready to take it off. So, yeah. pretty much it for the most part on hooking it all up um, it's pretty quick I usually just get my wife to kind of help me for a second I can do it all on my own but it's easier if I back up because I am on a hill um, there's a piece there that doesn't want to uh, seat right and she can just tell me that inch forward or inch back instead of me getting out back and forth trying to just get it the seat right so it's like it can sometimes be a pain but for the most part it's pretty simple um, it just requires me to get in and out of the truck more uh, to make sure it's seated right so uh, other than that, I forgot the keys inside, so I had to run inside and grab the keys so I can unlock it. So I'm about to bolt, lock it all back up, and then, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get on the road. So. So what we're planning on doing is we're going to go ahead and run over to, um, I got to get gas in my truck too, uh, and I'll probably just go ahead and put a little bit in the boat as well, um, just top it off as well. And then I'll show you all, you all that as like what kind of um, uh, like fuel cleaner or stuff that I use when I, every time I go fill up my boat and stuff like that. I got it in my boat in the back, but I'm going to top off my gas tank. Um, we're going to probably go to McDonald's for the kids. We're going to let them play for a little while. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty cool. Here's my little two turds in the back. And uh, yeah, there's one, there's the other one trying to hide right back there. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take them uh, to McDonald's. And so it should be fun. You think it'll be fun, Aaliyah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, well, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So one of the things that I like to add inside here while I'm filling up is still using on ethanol, you don't have 
too with these newer boats like this, you can use uh, any of the other gas pipes if you want. One of the things that I do like using um, is just fuel treatment, um, and it kind of just helps out with that. So what I do is like I'll start filling up the gas tank now, and then kind of get it like circulating, and then I'll just add something. It's pretty easy to do. You just screw up the top, and it kind of gives you whatever levels here and you're just kind of barely you're literally adding about an ounce in here you're not adding very much at all I just kind of like pour it a little bit like that not very much and get to about the next level that's about it and then I just fill up the tank and uh, it circulates in there and I do this every time I fill up the tank so So the McDonald's that we're at is kind of crazy. It's uh, tables here. Here are all the kids in the background. You can see like wherever you touch, it's kind of wild. And they got like a little TV over here. And then the kids go up there and kind of play some. So it's kind of cool. Right, yep. That's the McDonald's that we're at right now. The kids are about to get their meal. They're gonna go up there and play in the little jungle gym for a minute. Up there. And then uh, we'll probably hop back on in the truck and get out there on the lake. So yeah, that's what we're working on. All right, so we're leaving McDonald's. Got to go play around with that for a little bit with the kids. Uh, we're gonna head over to Deer Point Lake now. And uh, we're gonna try to put the, the boat in. I'll show a little bit of that when we uh, get over to the lake of uh, the boat and then us putting it in the water and that kind of stuff like that. And then, yeah, we'll get out there and start fishing. So, yep. All right, so we got over here to Deer Point Lake and they kind of like, if you look down there at the ramp, you can kind of see the one um, ramp. They're like two floating docks. Well, one of the docks on the left um, is kind of like beat up. It's kind of sitting on the uh, the sand a little bit, and you can kind of see that guy driving off. They're only using the dock on the right over here. So uh, the right dock over here, um, that's the dock that we're going to have to get in at. Um, but we're waiting for this guy to kind of back his truck up over here real quick in a minute. And then when he does, we're going to... Um, once he gets on loading up his boat, that's where we're going to go down and pull the boat down into. It's really, really windy right now. So I don't know how much we're going to spend out on the lake this um, this afternoon right now. Um, I think we got the kids over there playing on the playground. Um, so we're going to get out here once these guys get done loading up their boat real quick. And we're going to use the right dock. The left one is, it's you really can't back down into that area. It's like... Um, uh, they must have drained the lake some because the lake kind of overflows off into the bay area So they have a dam to the left of the lake over here So it looks like they drained the lake probably to try to either kill off the grass that was like overgrown from the summertime in, in, into the winter um, so But yeah, that's the only spot we can kind of use at the moment So once these guys get them loading up, we'll uh, we'll try backing the boat up. It might be a little hectic today It's kind of windy so Go ahead and unstrap the boat. It's still windy, so if y'all hear a little bit of wind inside the video, it's coming from that. Here, come over here, Whitney. Let me show you. Let me show them this. So these are my boat buckles that I added to the boat. You can kind of pick these up anywhere, like 
you probably go to uh, Dick Sporting Goods or Academy will have them. Bass Pro will have them. You can also just get them online like at Amazon or something like that. Um, these things are definitely worth having. Um, they're really easy. They're better than the little boat straps that I got. You just press a button on here, it releases it. You can kind of grab it and it drops back in here. Like that, and get out of your way. It does. It's not in the way of the boat at all. And if you want, re want to like hook your boat back up, you just bring them up, grab the button here, and you just give it a, a click or two, and then that's it. It's on there, cinched on. So they're really convenient. It makes loading and unloading your boat a lot faster. So um, here's the other side. And then yeah, we just take off. Uh, the pole down here and we'll put the plug in and then we'll get everything ready for the boat and uh, we'll see if we can get back it down into the water so yeah we'll show you that here in a second So we got here on the water, there's a vessel boot you can get with some of these newer motors and you install it. It's pretty easy to install. I watched a little YouTube video on how to do it. Um, but uh, what it does essentially is that like it can go to any of your electronics. Like if you had like certain fish finders or whatever, um, you can sync it to that. For me, since I don't have anything like special and yet, like all those special gadgets and stuff like that, and I just have the basics that come with the boat. I use my phone and you can look and see right here that uh, if you look closer, you can kind of see and it shows like I can put my, like I just filled up my tank. I know it's a 30 gallon tank. Um, so I can go here to the vessel view itself and I can add like, I don't know, two gallons to it, say. So I add two gallons to it and now we're about a 30 gallon tank, right? And it can kind of keep track of like your my, you know, like your fuel mileage, all that stuff. It also keeps track of everything else that goes with it, how fast your boat is going. And then it was really, really helpful. Since this is a brand new boat, I had to do the braking period for my engine. So the vessel view helps out a lot with that because I can tell the RPMs I had to like throttle it between like, you know a certain amount of rpms and you'll get all that whenever if you ever do buy like a new engine you have to break it in you'll get all um all that information on how to break in your engine correctly so this engine's already been broken in so i don't really have to use the rpms necessarily for that but it does the rpms i pay attention more to the rpms than i actually do the speed because it kind of just lets me know how my my boat is performing on the water like Especially it being choppy, like if, if I have the engine trimmed down enough or trimmed up enough. So, um, and a, a lot of that is kind of like new to me whenever I was trying to figure out the boat to begin with. Um, like just learning the RPMs, but after a while, just running the boat, you start to just get a feel for everything and how how your boat kind of performs. So, um, we're gonna take and try to find a spot that's not so like you look out here, it's still kind of choppy. Um, we're gonna find a spot that's not so choppy and windy. 
So yeah, we're just gonna get on the, um, go ahead and get started with it. So. There's a point right here. All right, so this lure right here is probably one of my more favorite but scary lures. This lure gives me PTSD, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've hooked it right through my hand right here before, right up in this meaty part. Uh, but yeah, this top water Rapala, there's a golden one and there's silver one. I think the golden one actually does produce better here. My brother fishes with the golden one, he believes in that 100%. But I'll fish either more the silver one or the golden one. I think it works really well in this water, especially on the outside of these mats. If you look around at these grass mats, you just fish the edge of these mats and they usually come up and they'll try to hit it. So we're gonna to try to fish this for a minute. And usually this is my go-to because even if the bass don't want it and they come up and grab a frog, but they don't really want to swallow it or eat it, uh, on this, the trouble hooks will get them. So even if they come up and smack it or tap it, at least the trouble hooks will come to get them. So we're gonna try this for a little bit.
That one. Skyler, come here, Bubba. Go, go, go. Come on. You want to reel him in? Come here. Hurry. He's a big one. He actually is pretty big. Come on. Now reel it. Grab it. Grab it. Now reel it. Reel him. Reel him. Hold it. Hold it up. Grab it back here. Grab it right here. Hold him. Reel him in. You got, oh, he's strong, isn't he? Here, you got it? Don't let him, don't reel it all the way. Don't reel it all the way. Let's let him go a little bit. He is pretty decent. Do you need he's something pretty, for him? He's a good fish. Come here. Do you need something for I, him? What I need is, I wouldn't mind him if he got off right then and there. Watch out, Leah. Did he? Oh. Ah. Watch out, girl. You want to scoop them? Yeah. Scoop underneath them. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Good job. Look at him. All right. <laughs> He's a decent guy. Let's see. Daddy. It's okay, Leah. Let's see if we can get a couple of these things out of him before he gets all crazy. There he goes. Hey, play it in there. Come here, Bella. You want to hold the fish that you reeled in? You want to touch him, Aaliyah? He's pretty good. Um, just to give you all a quick perspective, this might be the only fish that we try to catch today. We didn't really fish too long. Um, where is my scale? Why he was reeling them in? I uh, let him have the pole, and then I hit the the button to release the line, and uh, the bass kind of pulled down, so he backlashed me at the last second there. Let's see. Where did I put him? Ah, let's see. I catch him? Yeah. Well, battery's dead on that. It's not really working. I'll have to um, get a new battery. But I'm going to guess he's probably a little over three pounds. So he's a good little chunk bass. Um. We'll let, we'll see if we can, on the way back, we're going to fish this little bit of stretch back here real quick, and we'll see if we can get another bass, and we're going to let her try to reel it in next. He was taking his time to get over here to try to reel him in, but, yeah, first bass here. So, you want to let him go, Aaliyah? No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. We're going to let no. him go. Say bye. Bye. Zoom in here. Oh, hang on. Look at that. Here he goes. So Whitney decided that she wanted to try to back the boat up. So we're about to see how this shindig goes. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm a little nervous about this, but <laughs> we're gonna see how well she can back the boat the trailer up. So I'm sitting on the boat right now. I was gonna do it real quick, but she wanted to give it a go. So I'm gonna let her keep going. See if she can do it. Let's see how long this takes. 
Uh, I think she's looping around. I would have just kept backing up from there. I think she was fine, but I think she's, I think she's getting spooked. So she's gonna try to loop around and give it another shot. Here she goes again. Let's see if she can do it. She's got to turn her wheels the other way. She's turning too much. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to hold on the boat on the end of this dock. I don't think she knows what she's trying to figure out here, how to get it to turn back. She just needs to cut her wheels hard the other way. There she goes. She's gonna cut to the left. Let's see if she can do it. I think she's kind of, no, she's jacking it. <laughs> Pull forward! Pull forward! Alright, turn your wheels to the right! Pull forward more! Now, now straighten your wheels out! Uh, Aaliyah, don't be pulling on this. Let's see. Now turn your wheels to the left. Hard. There you go. Now turn them back to the right. You got to straighten your whole car out. Turn them to the right. Right. Here, pull forward. I can't really come over there and help her. I'm trying to hold the boat. They're on the dock. You want me to do it? Come here. All right, so we just put hooked up the the boat back to the the trailer, so we're ready to go and kind of take off. That was just kind of like real quick there. I'm on a hill right now, so there we go. Um, but I don't really like at the boat ramp. I don't really like to load the boat with the engine. A lot of people you kind of see, and especially a lot of older people, they kind of do it a lot more. I don't do it. I don't mind getting my feet wet. I don't mind getting in the water. Half the time I wear flip flops. Anyways, I'm in Florida. It's not like I'm in a northern state where I have to worry about super cold water. Um, there'd be other times if I had to, then I would probably, you know, load it up. But I choose to either load it up with my um, trolling motor or I'll pull it on to the, um, the trailer, like with a rope or something like that, or even just my hands. I kind of like troll up to the trailer, jump off onto the trailer, and then yank the rest of it up and then grab the winch and then winch it up the rest of the way so i don't really use my engine to kind of pull the boat up i just don't like to do that especially with the like if y'all could have seen the lake a little better there it's really low so the bottom of that boat ramp it's already kind of close there and people are already washing out the back end so other people their tires go off onto the boat ramp on the back end and it's kind of like so we're gonna head home we're gonna um go ahead and uh unhook the boat and everything uh get it kind of like packaged back up clean up everything clean up um everything kind of going on the kids got school tomorrow anyways um and then we're gonna just kind of wrap it up and i'll wrap up the video we're kind of maybe i don't know we'll see what we get into next or whatever so
Okay, so I went ahead and we got back here to the house. It's already getting kind of dark anyways. Um, buttoned up the boat. Um, so Whitney was trying to like back up the trailer there towards the end, but my, um, let me go here and shut the garage since we're all done with that. Um, but she, uh, she wind up, <laughs> she's going to do it. So I went in there and kind of helped her. Uh, but while I was trying to record her doing it, because I thought it was kind of funny, um, my phone wound up dying. So the camera that she had out there ran out of battery too, that died as well. So, but just to give you a quick little summary recap of what we were kind of doing out there, it wound up, we wound up catching the one bass. I think it was around, if I'm going to guess, probably a, around three pounds, a little over three pounds. If that would, that would be my guess there for that, for that guy. Uh, and then there was another one that I did hook up on for a second and I was trying to let my daughter reel it in uh, But by the time she got over to me, uh, it don't it don't got off. It didn't feel very big too If I was gonna guess I was probably barely even like This the strength of it if it if it even was a bass I don't even know if it was a bass to begin with on the second one um, But he was pulling there for a minute um, So I got him on a top water Rapala and then he kind of got off but yeah, that's um Kind of the little bit that we done today. Just the fishing with the McDonald's. We let them play there at the McDonald's. The McDonald's is pretty huge. Uh, it has like a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of different, like has the little jungle gym there. It has a movie playing in the background. It's actually kind of cool, that little McDonald's for the kids. They like to go there and kind of just chill out and play. And we kind of get to sit for a while and let them play inside like that. Uh, it gets kind of loud because all the other kids get in there and they get kind of uh, crazy too. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. We, we kind of, we kind of like piddled around most of the day, cleaned up the house. I did a little bit of stock trading this morning. Uh, we went and filled up the gas tank on the boat and in my truck. And then we wind up, um, uh, getting out there on the lake, kind of checking it out for a minute. We rode around uh, quite a bit on the lake. It was kind of cold still out there. It's still cold out there now. Feels good in my garage right now. It's nice and warm, but the wind kind of just cut through us. So, um, but yeah, just that we played around the lake for a minute, and then now when we're getting back at the house, we're getting the kids in the bath and stuff like that, and they're uh, they're gonna get ready for school tomorrow. So that's kind of all we kind of messed around with today. At some point, um, I'm gonna try to break back out my boat again and then get back out on the water and maybe show you all like one of the other rivers. I'll put a, I'll probably put a little map, little, just a little Google Maps up image real quick for a minute. Y'all can kind of check that out or whatever. That's um, that's where we were at uh, Deer Point Lake or whatever. It's Deer Point Lake in Panama City, Florida. So, um, and then I'll kind of like, yeah, just give y'all a little how like the the lake is kind of laid out. Just give you a down image from the map. Um, other than that, like I'll probably at some point we'll probably show you some of the other rivers that we got around here, like Chipola River. That was that's a pretty cool river to go to. Um, yeah, there's some other little spots around here. We have like Crystal Lake over here. We got a bunch of little creeks and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to get my boat down in those creeks. It can. I just got to be careful with the stumps. Um, so yeah. Um, other than that. Yeah, if you guys would um, shoot me a like and subscribe, I really kind of appreciate it. Also taken at some point, um, if you guys want to look at the uh, boat buckles that I had on the back of my boat, you can you can always go pick them up from like Bass Pro or any of those other stores like that. You can pick them up from any one of those stores. But if you want one of those boat buckles and you want to um, you know help support my channel or whatever, I'll put an affiliate link down in the description below you can go and pick up one of the boat buckles if you need them or not i'll also put these shirts that i wear or these columbia shirts i'll put them down in the description as well um and then same with the shorts that i like to wear too which are these uh, like columbia shorts that i you probably see down in the uh um you probably see them in, in the images so i like to wear them as well too because they dry out really quick when you do get in the water and then, yeah, these shirts are on, honestly awesome. I like to be able to put up the hoodie when it's nice and sunny and stuff like that. And it kind of helps cut off um, the sun off my head and stuff. And it still breathes. So, um, but yeah, um, if you guys would, just shoot me a like and subscribe. I really would help it. I really would like to grow this channel up to a thousand subscribers at some point. Um, 
But yeah, other than that, I appreciate everybody's uh, yeah time, and I'll see you guys next time.